So today I want to talk to you guys about the soil blockers that I got this year. I'm actually pretty excited about them. I've already used them a bit, but I'm going to give you my review so far and show you how they work. And I've also have, I have some from the mini soil blocker that need to get up potted. So we will be doing that today. So the first, first thing I'm going to show you, and these are both Ladbrokes. I did not buy the three piece kit that also has the, uh, I don't know what they call it. They're large size where these blocks actually fit inside of them. I only went with the mini and with the medium. So the small, all right, has 20 little micro blocks in there. So you fill this up with mud, literally mud. You're gonna add a ton of water to your soil and you're gonna pack this down level it off, then you put that down in your tray, and you just push on the spring-loaded rod here, and it punches out all your soil blocks. These have a little built-in uh, indentation, and that's where you're going to plant your seed, okay? The medium soil blocker makes four, and these inserts are all easily removable, All right, now I'm using the blocks because this fits the, the micro, the little mini blocks into it. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So you just insert and push in and it's in, okay? Now the medium came with different size inserts. So you've got the square blocks, then you've got these shorter round inserts, and then you've got these longer rounded inserts. Uh, the one thing I will warn you about the micro blocker is that this is plastic that's going around the base of this. The first time I used it, I actually popped it out by accident. And you can overpack this. And if you do that, when this, what ends up happening is that you, you go to push down, but it won't go down because the metal has actually been pushed out over the lip of the plastic. So if you get these, watch for that. Because it is important that you're going to have to pack these down, but you got to find that happy medium so that way you're not breaking your tool. It did push back into position just fine, so it wasn't a big deal. So first I'm going to show you what the micro looks like. Now, this has a pasteurized soil in it, organic seed starter. Um, you really got to add a lot of water to this. I mean, this is, just to show you, quite a bit. And you're going to want that. Can you get me some paper towel, please? Yep. You're going to want that. Otherwise, it's not going to be wet enough to hold together. So I'm going to grab a handful of this muck and drive that into each one of these little blocks. Now I also like just push them in so that way I know that they are getting compressed enough. I'm gonna top it off with a little more. All right. And you come over to your tray. I'll bring you over for this. Maybe get more paper towel than that, dude. I could just bring over the whole roll if you want. Sure. Thank you. Actually, let's fill up the medium as well and I'll show you. So with the medium, it's actually a little easier to fill it up because the blocks are so much bigger. Push in. Top them off. I just hand you the paper probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine for now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So 
come over here. Show you how this works. So first you've got the little micro. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down. Boom. All right. And then you got the medium. Pretty cool, right? So my intentions with the next size up, because obviously I'm going to have to up pot these again before planting season happens. I'm going to take a red solo cup and I'm going to have the husband make me a block that is just slightly larger than these blocks. And then I can just tap that into the soil inside the cup and then I can drop this into that square hole inside the cup that's filled with more dirt so that way it's got more room to expand. So that's the plan with that. So now that I've showed you how it works, I'm going to get these out of the way. And I'll show you what a whole tray looks like of the micros, little mini ones. Okay. This one I planted over a week ago, so don't mind a, a few took off running already. The marigolds don't look the greatest, though. That's okay. We can always pick some up from the store if they don't, if they don't seed. So, or germinate rather. So that's what this looks like at an early stage. And I'll show you what it looks like a little more grown in. This is ready to be up potted. This has a bunch of my tomato starts in it. And I think this might've got a little close to the grow light. So they have a little bit of burn on them, but that's okay. They'll be fine. And I'm going to up pot these today. By the way, the, the micros, and this is with extra space in between, I was able to get 300 blocks into a 10 by 20 flat. Now, this did not fit perfectly for me. Maybe somebody else, I don't know, I might be able to fit another row in here. Not quite. This was how many? So 45? 45, yeah. 45 blocks in this guy. Okay, so you can get 45 of the mediums into a 10 by 20. You might be able to sneak a little more in there if you're feeling a little more adventurous than I am. I don't want to wreck this row. So my plan here is to grab out one of my starts and we'll see how easy this comes up here. All right, not bad, not bad. So here's one of my started tomato plants. Little roots, okay? And it just drops right in. How cool is that? That is so cool, right? Pretty awesome. All right. So we're going to do a tray of this. Actually, I'm probably going to have to make another tray. I have a feeling I have more than 45 tomato starts. I've got several varieties that we're doing. So um, hope you enjoyed this and that you find this helpful. We have a lot of plans this year. Wanted to give you another update as well. We've kind of made some cool decisions as it relates to our little farm we plan on doing. Um, we decided to get back into a specific critter on the farm. What are we getting, Mason? Bonnie. Yep, we're getting silver fox rabbits back. That's actually where we, well, there's a little bit of a story as to why we picked the jackalope farm for our name. But originally, the reason why we decided to even name ourselves anything is because we had a silver fox rabbit tree at our old little urban homestead that we had going. And we were raising them for meat and fur. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it was really fun to have the babies around. They were adorable. They ate all of our grass clippings, all of the garden waste they took care of, and they poop garden gold. I mean, really, every gardener, even if you don't want to raise them for meat or anything like that, get a rabbit. Get a rabbit. You are not going to regret it. Compost is expensive if you're buying it every single year. Rabbits poop a ton. And even with a small garden, one little bunny would definitely help out the average gardener. You're going to eat all your scraps. 
You can put them in a rabbit tractor so you can grow them pasture style in your yard, as long as you don't have any pesticides down that might make them sick. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, we'll have more videos on that later. I'm not sure when we're getting them, but it will be this year. So we have to get some infrastructure ready and in place for that before we can make the jump to getting back in, but it's going to happen. And we're still on track for next year. That's 2023 getting into honeybees. I don't see us fast tracking that this year only because the main focus that we have going on um, in the garden is putting in a pollinator garden. So a lot of these are actually pollinator specific plants. I've got coneflowers, shasta daisies, um, marigolds, I've got sweet alyssum, um, what else do we have? We've got lavender, spearmint, columbine. We've got quite a variety. Butterfly bush is also coming up. And uh, on top of that, just the fact that we've got the, the massive vegetable garden that we do have and we have an orchard. We want to make sure that if, if we have bees, that we can keep them on the property as much as possible. I understand they're going to go wherever the heck they want, but I want to be able to offer them as much pollen as many flowers as possible. So, yep, that's it for this, this video, and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.